ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਟੁਡੇਜ਼ ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਆਮ ਹਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਤੂਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਅਦਾਬ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ਲੋਮ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਬੀ ਕੰਪਲੀਟ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਸੇ ਸ਼ਲੋਮ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਐਂਡ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੈ ਆ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਫਰਾਈਡੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਚਾਰਜ ਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆ ਔਰ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਚਾਰਜ ਨੂੰ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਨਿਊਯਾਰਕ ਸਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਦੇ ਆਫਿਸ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਏ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਹਿਮ ਇਨ ਅ ਮਿੰਟ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਣ ਕੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਪਰ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਚਾਰਜ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਚੇਂਜਸ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਸੁਜੈਸਟ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਆ ਟਰੰਪ ਐਡਮਿਨਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੀ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਆ ਔਰ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਔਰ ਪਾਮ ਕਾਰਡ ਵੀ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਇਸ ਤਿਆਰ ਕੀਤੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੇ ਆਫਿਸ ਨੇ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬਲੀਵ ਇਟ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਫਰਸਟ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਦਾ ਜਨਮੈਨ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਹੇਅਰ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਚਾਰਜ ਨਿਕ that's what i call you all the time <laughs> even though it's a nick guloda uh thanks for coming in Absolutely. so let's let's talk about the you know public charge sure thing okay. Aprit, first of all thank you for having me such a calling good evening to everybody who's watching oh thanks for coming in because uh, i know um right here in new york city the mayor is doing whatever he and his administ- administration can do to provide the information and protect the immigrants irrespective of their status mm-hmm. and caste color and creed of course of right course. so public charge is another salvo which the president trump threw out that's right and and so as of october 14th when the trump administration released the uh, public charge rule mm-hmm. um Uh, the mayor's office of immigrant affairs and the administration have really been engaged in educating the public to make sure that uh people know their uh know you know first and foremost that they should not stop using public assistance uh without speaking to uh, free legal help and so really our message is if you're concerned to, to, about to get proper information about what exactly when you, when we talk about the yeah. um, you know public, uh, public uh, assistance what is included which will probably be considered as a public charge and what will not be considered as a public charge that's the biggest question great question so uh, first and foremost let me say that this rule really applies to a very uh, narrow group of people you know as you mentioned new york city is the ultimate city of immigrants we have 3.1 million immigrant new yorkers this really applies to a very small number of immigrant new yorkers in many ways the confusion about this policy is actually more dangerous than the policy itself uh the truth is uh public charge is a term that's used in immigration law to uh really as a basis for denying people uh, green cards essentially right and other forms of visas and different statuses uh it applies to a very small number of people essentially if you are applying for a green card uh and uh you have concerns about whether public charge will impact you the thing to do is call 311 for new york city residents ask for the action nyc program you can access it in 200 languages and you can speak uh to receive free legal help from uh, a qualified source uh in community based organizations in who, neighborhoods across the city who will explain to you in your own language exactly. in those 200 languages that what exactly is public charge when when we talk about uh, restrictions on the green card mm-hmm. uh if i may ask you any particular example which we can uh, you can share sure. right now so what i'd say just is just to get the people uh, uh, understand what so, exactly so is uh, this, affecting them this only uh, really applies to uh, people who are applying for a green card so there's no public tar- charge test for citizens for green card holders who are applying for citizenship uh there there's so many categories of people uh who may be applying for a green card but are exempt from this rule so asylees people who have political asylum okay asylees are exempt refugees are refugees exempt refugees are exempt um you know i would say anyone who has citizenship or is applying for citizenship is completely exempt from this there's no public public charge test for citizenship so basically when the people say oh if i am getting some public assistance i probably cannot become a citizen so that's a false that's completely false and and the thing to really remember and if if people could take away one message from the show tonight i would really say 
if you are concerned about public benefits and immigration, if you have any concern, don't disenroll from public assistance unnecessarily. Uh, speak to uh, Action NYC, the Action NYC program. Receive free legal help. It's easy, it's free, it's su supported by the city of New York, and uh, no one should disenroll unnecessarily. Well, basically, I'm going to take one minute in Punjabi. Uh, the issue is that if you are thinking as well as public assistance, I will stop the public assistance land to stop the issue of the land because you have a green card issue or immigration issue. The first decision is to call 311 and in Punjabi, you can say that you want to speak to somebody in Action New York City, Action NYC. और उसे पंजाबी देवेच थानु कोई न कोई हेल्प प्रोवाइड करूँगा प्रॉपर गाइड करूँगा के की थानु अफेक्ट पैना या नहीं पैना और उधे बेच थोड़ी जेडी पर्सनल इनफॉरमेशन है डेट इस सेफ राइट एब्सोल्युटली एंड एडिशनली आई वांट टू सेइ दैट द सिटी ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क विगरेसली अपोजेस दिस रूल uh, this is a rule, uh, and mind you, it doesn't go in effect until October 15th. So nobody should really be disenrolling uh, from public benefits or making any changes to uh, you know, their plans without speaking to free legal help. But really, the rule hasn't gone into effect, and it will not be retroactive. So I, I have a very, um, you know, that uh, I'm in real life situation sure. uh, question, OK? Somebody who is uh, working, making good salary, mm -hmm. you know, uh, high five-figure, close to six-figure sure. salary, all of a sudden you have a sickness in the family, you lose your job. Yeah. How the public charge will affect if he has already somebody who is planning to immigrate and uh, their application is about sure. so to come the, up? The public charge test is unfortunately already in effect at consulates abroad. and. Uh, if somebody is sponsoring a visa for somebody uh, who's coming into the United States, I really want to encourage everyone to call 311 and say Action NYC, speak to a free legal, uh, uh, seek free legal help. The, the core of the issue is that uh, nobody should make any decision about their benefits usage um, or about uh, really their plans without speaking to a qualified legal uh, assistance first. So literally we are saying that do not go hungry because you are not sure you know, what will affect I'm you and sure what you will not affect Exactly, you. and I'm sure that uh, the viewers of this show and more broadly, we, we can all agree that the last thing we want to see is anyone going hungry. We don't want to see children in school who are unable to focus because they, uh, their parents, uh, you know, for good, for, for went their public benefits, right? We don't want to see seniors who are not taking uh, their medication because they're concerned about a green card. We want to make sure that everyone is taking, uh, is utilizing their benefits uh, with the knowledge that if they have any questions, they should speak to 311 uh, Action NYC, they should call 311 and speak to Action NYC, seek free legal help. Um, and really, their behavior shouldn't change unless uh, unless you know they're advised to by legal uh, counsel mm. it's a, it's a, you know it's a very interesting issue but at the same time right. it was also very much uh, uh, confusion among the people so let's take a break after the break we are going to talk about how to separate that confusion from Absolutely. actual facts that okay these are the facts which you should know and as long as you are within those parameters, you are good after the break. Welcome back to American Vision. We were talking about public charge. Okay. Uh, I know that there is a court challenge. That's right. Okay, I want you to talk about it, that which states are actually party to the court challenge and what to expect. Great, no, that's a great question. So the New York State Attorney General, Letitia James, launched a, uh, uh, a challenge to the public charge rule by the Trump administration. The city of New York is a party to that challenge, as well as the state of Connecticut and the state of Vermont. So, you know, we're not just saying we're opposed to this, but we're taking this to court. This is a policy that we believe is, is fundamentally uh, flawed. It's against our values as a city. It's against our values truly as a country. And that's why we're taking it to court. And, you know, right now the public charge rule is set to go into effect on October 15th. 
that said, if the courts invalidate the rule, it won't go into a effect then. So which, is which, which circuit court is handling it right now? So I, I don't want to go too much into the lawsuit, but what I'll say is this is something which the city is putting all of its efforts into. Um, and No, I a, mean, it yeah. is in the federal court on East Circuit? I believe so. Okay. I, I have to get back to you on okay. that. But okay. the uh, the challenge initially filed by the New York State Att Attorney General okay. Uh, okay. is uh, uh, that's is by the way Leticia, but Leticia she James. goes by Tish James. Correct. Sometimes people get confused, you know, uh, because she generally goes by Tish, and people are like Leticia. They're like, what? Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so now, again, going back into nitty-gritty of, sure. um, you know, we have already talked about Action NYC, 311, and public charge. So in, within public charge, besides the green card, what else is there which can affect somebody as a family? Sure, sure. So the, the federal government is looking at benefits in the public charge rule, which you know I'll say is 832 pages. It's meant intentionally to be confusing. It's meant to uh, you know, try to create a chilling effect so people disenroll from their benefits. Um, within that rule, it speaks about SNAP. It speaks about uh, different forms of, of Medicaid, although not all forms of Medicaid. The truth is, in New York State, most forms of health insurance are exempt from this rule. Um, and so, you know, if you are somebody applying for a green card and you're using one of those benefits, um, it is critically important that instead of disenrolling from benefits altogether, that you speak to help first. Okay, now moving forward, still on staying on the subject of public charge. Sure. If there is an asylee, he got mm -hmm. asylum, he wants to get his family here, sure. how it will affect him, or so, his family in other words. So benefits usage only uh, will impact an individual, the person who's actually applying for a green card. It won't affect your family members, right? So that's one thing to note, right? So basically, in other words, the asylee here, okay, when he applies for the green card, after one year of mm -hmm. getting the asylum. And he's exempt from public charge to begin with because he's an asylee. That's okay. also important but, to know. But when he applies for the green card at that time, does public charge affect him but not his family? So because he's an asylum, he has received asylum, he's exempt from he, the public charge so test completely altogether. Basically, so that means his whole family is exempt and that will not be held to the test. Mm -hmm to grant the green card. So what I would do in that case, and, and you know, it's, it's really as simple as this, is that even though that person is exempt from the public charge rule, they're not going to face the public charge test when they're applying for legal permanent residence, you know, a, a green card. That person, if they have any questions about whether they should change any sort of behavior on their end, speak to legal help. That's number one. But I would also say that public benefits usage will not impact uh, the person who's coming over unless that person is using the benefits. Because uh, there is, a, there is a, uh, another question. Sure. When we are living in New York City, we can yeah. call 311 immediately. Sure. We get connected. If somebody is calling from another state, sure. is no, there another I, number? I, I know many uh, 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 viewers potentially live outside of the city. so the Because they watch the show and they are going to be absolutely. wondering if our, I can reach... Our partners uh, on the state yeah. level luckily have, uh, have a wonderful program through the Office of New Americans, another hotline that they can call. It's called the ONA hotline. And okay. so um, they should look up the Office of New Americans hotline. Okay. And they can ask, they can seek similar services. Also, I'll say if somebody uh, does call 311, they can also be connected to that number. Okay, so basically, wherever you are living, uh, if you want, you literally can Google and then reach out. That's right. Okay. So in New York City, the Action NYC program, and outside of New York City, the ONA hotline, the Office of New Americans hotline. Yeah. Just want to make sure that. There should not be any confusion at all about I should stop taking this benefit or that benefit or I should not get some benefits to my kids or I should not take my kids to the hospital because they are sick or they have a cold instead of taking them to the doctor. Or if they have a fever, let us say 100 uh, fever, you are like, you know, it's only 100 degree, you know, um, and it's not, you know, much, it's only 100 Fahrenheit. 
it will affect public charge uh, to my family, so don't take it. It means mm -hmm. do not hesitate to take your kids to the doctor. Absolutely. Do not hesitate to apply for food stamps. If you are short because you may think that public charge will affect you, it's not applicable, right? So what I would say first and foremost, and I'm really glad you brought this up, when it comes to health, nobody should stop using the health care that they are entitled to. So people should not stop going to public hospitals. They should not go stop going to wherever they receive their care. This is critically important. And, uh, you know, I would, I would really encourage everyone to know that they're, they should have no fear in seeking care for their health. Secondly, um, in the example that you brought up, if somebody is concerned in any way about how some benefits specifically might impact their ability to get a green card, that's when they should call 311 um, and say Action NYC. There's definitely no reason why anyone should go hungry or uh, not receive health care. That's clearly the intention of this wrong-headed policy, is to create confusion, is to create a chilling effect, so people withdraw from public assistance. And unfortunately, we as a city have seen a withdrawal amongst immigrant New Yorkers, non-citizens, from SNAP, from uh, what's referred to SNAP as food stamps. And you know this is the chilling effect that we're witnessing. So it's, it's incumbent on all of us to really spread the word to make sure that nobody is disenrolling from these benefits. These really life-sustaining benefits unnecessarily. Is that, is that it interesting? I don't know if you can really talk about it or not on the show because you are a uh, person from New York City, but I can freely talk about it. That Stephen Miller, whose family happen, who happened to be a Jew, whose family actually used the benefits, his ancestors, and he is a force behind all this? You know, what I, what I want to be very clear on is that this policy is completely against our values as a city. We uh, not only celebrate our immigrant communities, our immigrant communities are not what just makes the city, our the city whole nation. and our nation America, great. You know, I Absolutely. mean, America, yes, whatever the foundations uh, at that time, whatever happened, but the founding fathers of the United States, Okay, and look at uh, the message on uh, Statue of Liberty. That's right. And they are also playing with that message now. You know, I think nothing says it better than the poem on the Statue of Liberty by Emma Lazarus. I think that uh, we were, as a city, those are our values. We take care of people and we welcome New Yorkers, regardless of immigration status, regardless of income. Whether you're uh, low income or working class, it doesn't matter. This city is your home, and we want to make sure that everybody receives the benefits that they're entitled to. And uh, interestingly, if you really look at what America is today, it has been made by the immigrants. Sure. You know, there's no second opinion on that. <laughs> that's that's absolutely correct. Right. Um, and, <clears throat> and you know, really critically, uh, this policy is clearly motivated. Uh, you know, by, by an ideology that we as a city reject. We protect our immigrant communities. We absolutely know that immigrants are what makes this city great. And I want to say, um, I know we're uh, coming up to the end of the program. But, yeah, it is about but, that much, uh, but uh, we do have uh, this about two minutes. Uh, there is something, right. you know, which is very important for yeah. you to share, please. Absolutely. So this Sunday, we're going to be at uh, Gudwaras in Richmond Hill. Uh, on the ground doing outreach, making sure that uh, uh, Punjabi New Yorkers have uh, this uh, palm card, uh, which is in Punjabi and English. Um, we're going to have there our leader of the Human Resources Administration, Grace Bonilla, who's you know a fantastic leader in this city who can answer questions as well as speak to the effects of this rule. And uh, I want to encourage any of your viewers who, who might come to the Gurdwara this Sunday to, to ask, about, uh, ask us while we're there about public charge. We'd be happy to speak to them. Uh, we'll have these palm cards with us. I also want to thank you for your partnership in, in helping get out the word about this because truly the chilling effect, people unnecessarily withdrawing from public benefits is, uh, is, 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 is poses a greater risk than the rule itself. This, this is something, you know, this uh, coming Sunday at uh, Sea Culture Society as well as I'm talking about day after tomorrow, Parsonu, Sea Culture Society, the Baba Makhan Shalmana Gurdwara, Richmond Hill, the bitch. New York City, the Human Rights uh, Administration, the Commissioner, or one of the staff here, you know, they are going to be there from Human Resources Administration. I'm sorry, thanks for correcting me. Uh, because uh, rights, human rights is the biggest issue right now. That's why <laughs> I said human rights. Uh, at Sunday noon, oh, Dunna Gurdwara and the Bichara, staff, and they are coming with the palm cards so that 
ਕਿ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਚਾਰਜ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਲੈਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਦ ਵੇ ਇਟ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੂਡ 30 minutes to you uh, anything else which you want to say about this uh, absolutely so i'd up? say that for anybody who is worried about public charge the impact that it will have on them or their loved ones should definitely call 311 and say action nyc speak to free legal help i also want to say that our values as a city are that we welcome immigrant communities and we stand with our immigrant communities so uh, we will vigorously as a city oppose this policy um and make sure on the ground in communities that we're bring resources and factual information thank you and uh, with that note we are coming to a close and uh, again don't forget this sunday to be at the gurdwara to get the information ek cheez hor jehdi ke akhir de vich main kehni chahunda oh he a starting september 22nd new york city is providing punjabi non english speaking bandiyan nu how to speak english in uh, apna culture society and please make sure that you get enrolled you join and you learn at least to communicate so that you can get somebody to talk with that note good night and good luck